Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. We are continuing to learn about reactive forms and in today's episode we will learn how to set the values for the form controls. This is part 62 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. I have planned around 100 tutorials for you in this particular series with detailed explanation and live practical examples. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out so that you learn and master Angular 10 in detail. All right, so, so, uh, so following are the topics that I've already covered uh, in this particular series. So make sure that you check out all the previous episodes and let me know if you have any doubts. I'll be happy to help you or if you get stuck, let me know. I'll be happy to help you again. All right, um, so today is the 62nd episode. Today we are learning how to set values for our reactive forms. A quick note of introduction to our viewers who are joining us new. What are reactive forms? Reactive forms uh, is one of the ways that we can create forms in Angular application. Reactive forms allows us to have better control since most of the logic and control, um, all, the, all the logic, all the form design is done in the com component controller, right? In the con component class. We use form group and form control. Those are the two main things that we have learned so far. And in the last episode, I introduce you to the concept of form builder. To work with reactive forms, we'll need reactive forms module. That's the most important one because without which it won't work. Make sure you check out the last three episodes. That's where I've covered the basics and showed you how to get started with reactive forms in Angular application. So remember three things. Um, a lot of people get scared by the reactive forms, but don't get scared. Remember these three important things, form control, form group, and form builder. If you understand these three things, I think the form uh, reactive forms itself is pretty cool and pretty easy to learn. Alrighty, so how do you set values in reactive forms is what we are going to learn today, okay? So there are two ways that you can do, okay? So we can set the entire form value, right? And assign values on the go when you're creating the form. That's one of the technique. The other technique is using um, by creating an object of the form and then using a method called set value, right? So these are the two uh, two ways that you can set the value in reactive forms. Now, where where do you find these use cases in Angular application, right? So let's say for example, if you are doing a edit uh, functionality, right? So what happens is in edit you have to retrieve the data and set the data already, right? Let me show you an example. For example, if let's say the screen, if I refresh, it's empty by default, right? But if it's an edit screen, you want the values to be populated, right? When you launch the page or ng on in it. So that's where you will need to set the values. That's one of the use cases I can think of right away. So let's learn how to set values. So like I said, there are two ways to do. One is the entire form. The other is using the set value. I'll show you both ways. Let's go to component. So this is our form, right? This is where we are creating the new form controls. So just assign the value. The first parameter of form control is the value, right? So I'll say loan name is personal loan, right? So remember friends always that the first parameter the first parameter param of the form control is the value. So whatever you pass, right, that value will be displayed in the form. Okay. So loan type, oh, let's make it here, some meaningful names. So we'll start giving some meaningful name to our form. Um, I'll say okay and description this is for laptop okay so some description save it and now you would see that when you go to your form the values are set right so see this that your values are now set that's because we have used the form and we have assigned the values on load so right when you are creating the form you have assigned the values here and that's why when you load the form 
it's reflecting directly right so this is one of the way right this is one of the way that you can assign the value to the form right right when you are initializing the form you can assign the values as well the other way so i'll comment this off just so it's for your reference right and then copy this again now instead of assigning it here so this is a better approach. So when you have a complicated form which has multiple logical things based on some conditions, etc., etc., it makes it makes sense that you do something like this. So you can create an instance and say new loan. So here I'm creating a loan object, right? So what this does is this will take the exactly same parameters as this. Right. So here I'll say, so here you will create that form object, which will have all the, all the fields, right? So what I've done here is I've created an object right which looks like have which has the all the attributes all the elements of the form remember now this is where a lot of people make mistake right i'll show you that mistake also don't worry i will not only show you working i'll also show you where it will not work right so now you'll say this dot form dot set value set value and pass this object right so see now this is another way of setting another way of setting values of form right so this is one way that i showed you right direct way of setting the form value at form creation right so you're creating the form and you are assigning the value right there only. That's way number one. That's the first technique to set the value. Alternatively, you can create an object of this form, right? I'm not assigning it here. Instead, I'm creating an object and then I'm saying this dot form dot set value. Let's see the output. See, now, uh, just so that you get a difference, I'm going to make it, um, say, gold loan. Right, just so that you see the difference. So you see here, now it says gold loan. So this is way number two. So which way is correct? There is no right or wrong. Okay, there is no right or wrong. It depends, right? Um, there is no right or wrong way. Sometimes, usually what happens is your forms are too complicated. It doesn't, like here, if you see the form is pretty simple. But usually if you're using a form builder, it will be very complicated. So I, I encourage people to use this technique, right? Right. All I um, I will say encourage you to use set value method. But, but there is a trick here, which is the set value requires all the requires data slash values for all the fields or keys these are like key value right for this is a keys so i can say fields or slash keys okay if you don't give you will see error if you don't pass value you will see errors now let me show you that errors okay so what i'm doing i'm saying this is my form right so this is my form so now i'm going to delete one of the key which is required right since we are using set value we need to provide all the all the keys but now i'm not providing intentionally to show you that it's an error so see it is not showing data if you go to console log you would see error must supply a value for form control with name loan description which means whenever you're using set value this is mandatory to use okay so that's mandatory remember this notes that there is no right or wrong way to do but I encourage people to kind of, you know, use this um, set value. But remember that whenever you do that, the set value requires all the fields values. Okay. 
if you don't pass we'll see errors right otherwise it's pretty simple take the form set the values or you can create an object and use set value right refer to this ppt notes for your reference you can set the entire form here or you can use only the using set value right so these are the two ways you can set values in your reactive forms try it out let me know if you have any doubts right uh, there is one more way which is called patch value i'll explain that later or let me just cover it right here um, since we are anyway covering it here um, setting the value right so let me do that right here so the other way is using patch value right now let me cover this right here okay so look here take a look now patch value is similar to set value okay the only difference the only difference is you do not have to do not have to pass all keys slash fields right so here i told you that whenever we use set value we have to pass all the keys and values right but if you don't want to do that you can use patch value right now what does patch value do use patch value now what it does is you don't have to pass all keys slash values right only selected key slash fields data can be set right now let me show you that so i'm going to comment this here for real quick now you see i'm using patch value so i'm going to delete the loan description if we did this in set value it gave us error now i'm going to show you that it works with patch value see there is no error because i'm setting only two values which is for loan name and loan type and since i'm using patch you do not have to pass all the keys and fields that's why there is no error but if you don't do patch value and you do set value you will see an error here now okay so th there are two and i'm using set value let's save it now we should see error see because you have to pass loan description for set value you have to pass all the values if you don't want you can use patch value right all right so that was three ways uh, setting the value on the go using the form second set value and the third is using the patch value method right so these are the three ways you can set values in reactive forms go ahead try it out you have this template ppt for your reference also make sure that you go pause my code see what i'm doing follow step by step and you should be able to get it if you still have some issues let me know i am right here to help you in the next episode we will learn about reactive forms reading form values right that's very very important because once you set the value you should be able to read the form values as well we'll see that in the next episode if you like my tutorials if you like my work please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com/arctutorials please do like share subscribe to my channel comment let me know how you are finding it if you have any feedback please do let me know i'm always open to positive feedback thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode